Hey everybody, the Reese Wirel here, and welcome back to RPG Maker VX Ace Tutorials. In this one, what we're going to be discussing is a request from Chopper Dans, which is to, uh, which is how to create key key items. So, generally, what I tend to use key items for is more so doors. I've not really used them in a quest or anything yet. There's still a chance for that. But first things first, if you're wanting to use key items, then you need to create them. So you need to go on here, I believe. What the fuck? Oh yeah, change maximum. 17. I'll just you. I'll just call it something like rusty key. Like rusty key. Okay. Description: a rusty, oops, rusty looking key. There we go. Right, and then from here you can choose its icon and stuff. Generally, all of those ones in the top section, or actually for most of it, are to do with like uh, abilities. For a key, I can't remember which one it is. I'm pretty sure there's a key somewhere. I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna have to look for it. It's actually quite a bit of a bitch to find, just because it's like there's so many freaking icons and they're tiny. It's kind of hard to see them all. There's a key somewhere. Where the fuck is it? There? There? Nope, nope, there, chainmail. That's like not a key. Huh. Well, this sucks. I can't believe I can't find a freaking key. Oh, wow, well, this key's right here. That one looks like a rusty key. Right. What you do? Go on item, item type, normal, which would mean you could use it anytime. Key item, which is that. And then what you do is that consume you change that to no because you can't consume it uh, Only from the menu or actually always in battle Okay, then what you want to do is that's fine. That's fine And I know that looks weird, but you'll see what I'm what I've, why I've done that in a minute Just so you know I just pressed control and three which is the quick event creation for a chest Right, and what we're going to do with this chest is go onto, not weapon, we're going to go on item and include the rusty key inside. Right, double click that and it should say, right, rusty key was found. And then under this we need to put uh, a switch. Yep, this was from the tutorial I've just done, which was, and I'll just change this, rusty key got. I know I do the, the switch is really simplified, but it, it, it works, so... Yep, rusty key got equals on, and now what we want to do is go on the door, and copy all, oh, balls, there we go, copy all of this, I'll cut all of that, new event page, only when rusty key got is on, right, and then the graphic for that is the top one, right, we don't want the walking animation on, that would look weird, right, and this is a door, uh, shit, where is it, here we go, Dot oh, balls. I don't know which one it is. I think it's that one. One of these. Who cares? One of those. Fuck it. Yeah, it looks the same. Screw it. Right, the only thing I need to change here is you just put a text saying the, the door is locked. Uh, maybe there is a key nearby. Hopefully, this works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be annoyed. Okay. And that should just continue to repeat. And that's when the player touch. You don't want player touch for a door. You want it always to be on an action button. Same for this. Right, when the rusty key got is on... Uh, shit, I might have done this a bit wrong. No, I haven't done it wrong. I've just done it in a dumb order. Oops. And then on here, you'd obviously put like, you open the door... Oops. With the rusty key. God damn, my typing skills today is terrible. Huh. And then underneath you'd put the oop, you'd put this. There we go. Hopefully that's fine. There, oops, everything is the same. Right, let's test this. Hopefully, ho ho, hopefully this works. I'm hoping it does. If it doesn't, then that will suck. Right, let's try the door first. The door is locked, maybe there's a key nearby. Yep, the door will not open. Right, open this. Rusty key was found. You open the door with the rusty key. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh shit, the door disappeared. 
Hmm. I don't know how you can do it without making the door disappear. Hmm. Well, I suppose for something like that you'd use a gate. So, if you used a gate, then the gate wouldn't come back down, would it? I suppose it could. Wait a minute, I want to I wanna try and change this then. Right, it like it like disappears. I don't want the, the screen to fade. Yeah, get rid of the, the transfer. Whoopsie. Yeah, get rid of transfer, get rid of move. That one as well. Where's the fade screen? Uh, it, I don't have a clue. That might break it. I don't know. Yeah, that would, because otherwise the player wouldn't move. Well, I don't know. I'm testing shit now. <laughs> I just don't I don't want the dot to disappear. So yeah, save. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, just get the freaking key. Open the freaking door. Okay, right, the door opens but it disappears. Huh. The only thing I can think of doing is maybe just creating a new map. Blah. Uh blah. Blah. There we go. Whoa fuck. I don't have no idea what the hell just happened then. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I know this is probably going to be dumb because I'm, I'm taking too long. Alright, quick event. There we go. That was control and one. I'm only, like, saying what it is because people have been saying, like, you know, you should really say what combination... Well, not combinations. Uh, what freaking buttons you're pressing because we can't tell if you're using a keyboard shortcut or not. So, yeah. But whatever. Anyway, let's try this. And if this works, then I'll be very happy. Although, you'd need the key. All the time. Actually, no, you wouldn't. Right, you open the door with the rusty key. Right, move down here. Go up. I have no idea where I place it. There we go. Right, the door's there. Right, the rusty key would always be in your inventory. But, with it being a rusty key, you tend, you'd think it would break. So... What I like to do is you open the door with the rusty key, you do this, share the text, like, the rusty key broke. Rusty key broke. Okay. I'm just trying to remember how I did this on a previous game. Okay. The rusty key broke. And then after that you need to put, uh, not party, I can't remember where it is. <laughs> okay, it might be uh, no, it's not enemy. It's nothing to do with enemy. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to remember. Ah, change items. Here we go. Some of you guys, you go on rusty key and you decrease it by one. So I think it would remove from inventory. I think that would actually go there maybe but the thing is with that uh, <laughs> it won't always work because you'd need the rusty key to open it so I think what you could do is just this is probably a really complicated way of doing well not complicated but it's just so the door doesn't disappear completely like rusty key broke I have no idea why I put an explanation mark there but I did whatever anyway right we'll do that and then you go boop boop boop, boop what the fuck am I doing there we go okay right new event page not for Rusty Key, there we go, Rusty Key got, oh yeah, I want the broken one, there we go, there we go, right, go to door number three, that one, boom, boom, uh, yep, and then bang, okay, let us hope, for the love of god that this works, because I didn't, really, I didn't spend that long on it, but yeah, right, so, right, the door does not open, Rusty Key found, you open the door with the rusty key. The rusty key broke. Yay, it opened! Right, hopefully. Shit. Did it still open? Yeah, fuck yes! Okay, I'm so happy. Right, so, uh, <laughs> that's the end of that. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed. And, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope this has helped. And, until next time, take care.